Sorry. I want the whole thing. Why are you being cantankerous? Okay. So, so far we have gone over chapters one and two of our book, The Lead of the Forgotten World. I know that Brendan's not here, but let's go ahead and recap what we have read about. Who are these little girls? Um, Do you remember their names? Uh, Maymay? Maymay? Like Amelia? Yeah, we, didn't, we didn't get the number. Soul? Or was I not uh-huh. here? Uh, uh, I, here? Yeah, I know we did not get it. Because I think that we did all the way to go to the first chapter. This, this is chapter nine. Okay, so, so far we read that these little girls lived with their dad because what happened to their mom? Their mom died. Their mom died. So who took over? The evil stepmother. She was kind of like the evil stepmother, Veda. So she basically said, come to America with me. I'm going to go ahead and help you. And what happened with their dad? Do you remember where he went? Um, He had somebody die, so he had to go back to Korea or the Philippines. Did he come back? No. He didn't come back. So who were they stuck with? They were stuck with their mom. Bea. And did she treat them right? No. No. She She treated them like her slaves. Like her slaves, and she would lock one of them in what? There's like a, a closet. closet. She would lock them in the closet, and every day she like in Cinderella. <laughs> like in Cinderella, but did she always think of it as a bad thing, or how did she react? Do you remember how what she kind of transformed her closet into? The torture room. Mm-hmm. She kind of not a dungeon. She kind of made up things for her to cope with it. Like she one time she was in like a rocket ship. An imaginary so she she Photoshop. She created like an imagination. She created things that weren't real so that she didn't feel like she was locked up. But she thought that let's go ahead and start over on chapter three. If there's any words that you are confused about, I want you to write it on your statement. Okay. Okay. Chapter three. Okay. If you want to know what happens to bad girls who live with an, e- with an evil stepmother, I'll tell you. They get put in the closet. Probably because, I'll tell you. They get put in the closet. You've probably heard that before. You've probably heard that before. But when you are the daughter of Mamie and Madrid, closet, closets, are of no concern to you because a closet can become anything. Your mind is a power. That's what my mom, that's what my mom used to say. So the first time they sent me to the closet, I was kind of out inside a locker, but the kind that they want to display. And they took the chair. And Bea took the chair away from the doorknob in the basement. I stayed in for an extra 15 minutes and had to open the door and step in the cell. So this sounds like something that would be terrifying, correct? This sounds like something that would be really scary, but what did she do? She used her what to kind of take her imagination. She used her imagination to take the What's scary in. is that they could like hack us in my stepdaughter. Oh, like so. So, who taught her to use her imagination like that? Let you escape. Her mom. Her mom. Okay. Axel, you go ahead and start our next paragraph. Um, Why haven't you come out? She asked. I'm not sure that the spear is safe places. What is your world like, Earthling? <laughs> Me who look around, look around inside of the closet at the bit, fingers beat up shoes and musty toys, and then raise your elbows at me. Well, I have been transported into space. You are the first being I have seen in thirty two years. Tell me, what is your planet like? <laughs> we turn around and look at our bedroom, and then then she scratched behind her ear and said, "Kind of messy." <laughs> and now they. Came out and pretended to be an explorer as if I was exploring the marker stain in the computer. He asked me if I was going to call the Yahoo letter from now on. 
Never. Said. Okay, pause. Do you think the younger sister is going to want to call her mom? No. No. Okay. I was thinking sure. She's not going to call her mom because I saw her real mom. And then first, she treats her like, she treats her like uh, her slave. Mm-hmm. And then she doesn't like her. And one of them might have to her hair. I mean, honestly, it kind of does. Like, I like what y'all both said that you can relate it to Cinderella because, in all honesty, I mean, Cinderella was raised by who? The evil stepmother. The evil stepmother, and they were given no choice. They're like these young girls who are stuck with their aunt because their dad went to a funeral and never came home. He never came back. Okay, let's go ahead, Luciano, on page 13. Many neighbors said me that even if she locked me in the closet forever, that would never happen. Why? Because if she ever hurt you, I would cast an evil spell on her that would turn her blind and deaf, and she can never find you. Not only did you refuse to call Vaya mother, not only Vaya mother, she quit, talk, she quit talking altogether. Not completely, but she hardly ever speaks to Vaya at all anymore. To Vaya at all anymore. She talks to me though, sometimes too much, mostly she has questions. I remember one time last summer she practically grilled me about Amelia, which is one of my least favorite things to talk about. It was hard that day. Do you remember who Amelia was? Her mother. No. No, uh, her sister. Her, what happened to her? She died. Her sister died. <coughs> it was a hot, it was a hot day, that, it was hot that day. And we had to wear long sleeves because we were taking bakes. If you don't wear long sleeves when you take bakes, your arms get itchy. Why did Amelia go in, in the river if she didn't know how to swim from me? She was only one year, one year old when Amelia died. So she doesn't, do you think she would remember her? If she was only one when her sister died. Okay. She was little. She didn't know any better. I said, I felt something turn in my belly. It's that feeling you get when you think of something terrible at the unexpected moment. moment. i only been thinking of things not about my dead sister. But when Mean said her name, something turned. Why do you think her stomach felt like that? Because she was scared. No, she was kind of like... She was devastated. Well, sure. I mean, if you've ever lost a sibling or lost somebody that close to you, and then she lost her mom, and then she lost her dad. So, I mean, it just kind of like hit her all the time. Wait, her, where did her dad go? Did her, he die? No, in uh, chapter two. Oh, wait, talked. didn't he go to North Korea? Yeah, he went to North Korea. No, he went to no, he went North Korea. Korea. He they went to where they're the from. Like, and he went to the North <laughs> for like a few days and he does not come yeah. back so he ended up basically like abandoning his girls from what we know so far with his girlfriend or wife now mm-hmm. okay i'm sorry i was seven when amelia drowned but i remember what i remember like it was yesterday i wish i could forget it i wish i was like me too young to remember what it was like <coughs> But then I wouldn't be able to remember my mother either. And no wish is worth that. So now we know how Amelia died. What happened? She drowned. She drowned. She drowned in a deep river. She was a child. Why wasn't Mama watching her closely? Asked me. I thought real moms always watch closely. I tied my hair into a knot and pressed my lips together tight. Let's talk about something else. I said I reached for a branch and held it down so she could take the fruit. Let's play ice cream. You know, I'm thinking because if she was moved on, I feel like her mother did something to Amelia. That's what I'm thinking. Well, no, I mean, because how would it say she was when she died? 12 or something? Yeah. In the beginning, it said that she was 12. Uh, cause, oh, it says she's 10 years old, the age that she would be now if Amelia hadn't died. So. Is that something that, I mean, that's not always something that parents can control. You don't know, we don't know where she was, we don't know what she was swimming in, so. Yeah. Okay, finish that last thing. Me picked a fig and bought it, brought it to 
Stitch mouth. So if it has a stitch mouth, what is it specifically? An elephant. An elephant or Okay, Mr. Elephant is her favorite stuffed animal. My father gave him to her right before he was supposed to be. Even though his name is Mr. Elephant, he's actually a purple, a purple giraffe. <laughs> she eyed the tree trunk and said, I spy something for uh, Moons would make a terrible sound. When I then guessed right away, she looked up at me. You know what it is? Yes. It's the biggest boomstick ever made. Big enough for five witches. Moon looked around for the boomstick and said, No, soul, it's the tree trunk. I give the tree a pat. This? Well, this is what I was talking about in the first place. All the witches have to do is come down, pull it out of the ground, and take off. They'll probably be there any minute. How would you describe those in the soul? They have a good what? Imagination. 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 And bond. And a good bond, yes. Moon side. Wait. And take off. We'll probably be here in a minute. Moon side and rolled her eyes as, as if I was the most amateur playdate she'd Playmate. ever had. Playmate she'd ever had. Then she took a deep breath of air and hurled. Mr. Elephant's face. Big as far as she could. It landed just a few feet away. Did Mama have any sisters? She asked. The back of my neck jerked with sweat. She used to tell me she had a sister named Rose. You don't mind? I said flatly. Suddenly I didn't feel like picking fakes anymore. She called her auntie. Joke. Okay, pause. Do you remember what it said in chapter two? Anytime they would talk to their dad about their mom's sister, he would walk away. Yeah, I wasn't hearing the word in chapter two. He would say basically, your mom didn't have a sister. So every time she said, you know, my mom told me that she has this sister, but anytime she'd bring it up, her dad said, no, your mom never has a sister. Okay. Um, means I put it. Ming's eyes lit up like coins. Really? I hadn't thought of Auntie Jove in a while. Her name felt familiar, but strange all at the same time. Once I started talking about her, I couldn't stop. I told Ming all about Auntie Jove's adventures and how I thought we would learn to her from Auntie Jove after our mother died, but instead of her father, Mary Peter, he, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, and brought us to the burning. The fig tree did not offer much shade, but the more I talked to him, the more she made I grew up. I want you to finish this one. Okay, guys, here is your next station. The less I noticed her heart when I finished, me was quiet for a moment. Then she kissed Mr. Elton. Too bad you didn't have any sisters, Mr. Elton. Mr. Elephant doesn't need sisters, I said. He has you. I got one of the branches and shook every one of sisters. She said as I as the as the face fell at the Why do you think she says everybody? Because so you can actually have like a bond and you won't be the only child. Because with my cousin, she was actually kind of a uh, only child and then she always used to she always used to come to our house because she was like lonely. I felt kind of bad, and then uh, she had a, she 